In this video, we're going to go over some of the interior and tech features on the all-new 2017 GMC Acadia. One of the nice new features available on the 2017 Acadia uh, is it comes with a power tilt and telescope steering wheel. Um, the Denali has a configurable driver information center. It has an electronic parking brake that's located on the left side of the vehicle. They changed the steering wheel, so if you're used to the steering wheel or familiar with the steering wheel in the older Acadia, completely new setup. They've actually gone to a more standard setup that they have on the majority of their other vehicles. Uh, so on the right side behind the steering wheel, you have your volume controls. The left side behind the steering wheel, you have your controls to change your stations for your radio. Um, the arrows here on the right by your thumb are going to control your driver information center. You have your Bluetooth touch to talk and your voice recognition button. On the left side here you have your cruise control. This one is actually equipped with a heated steering wheel so the button is here. And this also has forward collision so your forward collision setting is right here. Uh, your headlights are automatic. They're on with your turn signal. Windshield wipers are on the right side um, along with your rear wiper. The dash was changed here a little bit, so the controls are, are close to being the same as, as the old one. So you have your driver setting, your passenger setting, your fan speed in the middle here, your sync button, which is going to actually sync driver, passenger, and rear passenger temperatures together. Um, this has a tri-climate zone adjustment, so you can actually adjust the passenger settings from the rear seat. And then you have your heated and air-conditioned seats. The settings are there. Uh, your shifter changed a little bit, so it's a sporty shifter, and then right behind the shifter we actually have your selector that you can switch in and out of front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive, sport setting, your ice setting, and your tow haul mode. Uh, they actually moved your lane keep assist button and your parking sensor button down here, so it's actually next to the knob also. has an all-new system from the older model Acadius. So you have your, your radio system here. You have an available navigation, uh, available Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And you have your buttons down here to tune in your stations, take you into your home settings so you can go through and check your settings for the vehicle. Also on the screen here, going to give you your backup camera. So this vehicle is actually equipped with surround vision. So on the left side of the screen you can actually see an above view of the vehicle, 360 degree view. Uh, on the right side you see your normal backup camera. So as you turn the steering wheel you have your guidelines there. This is actually equipped with the tow package. So if I touch that button right there you're going to get your straight up and down line there that turns which is going to help you guide getting your vehicle hooked up to your trailer. The other option for the vehicle equipped with a surround view is when you put the vehicle into drive, now you have a front camera. In the drive setting, it's gonna stay this way up till about five mile an hour and then it's gonna shut off. But this actually gives you the option to switch back and forth now when you're in drive from the forward facing camera to the rear facing camera. So the all new 2017 GMC Acadia comes with a smart slide seat available uh, and what that's going to do it's going to give you the option to if you have a full-size car seat in the seat here uh, makes it a little bit tough to get people in and out of the third row so what the smart slide seat does is actually when you pull the handle here the seat is going to tip forward and then slide to give you access into the back seat all the while not folding the seat at all so you can actually if you do have a car seat fastened into this side of the seat, you can actually leave it there. It's not going to impede in getting into the back seat. And then you just slide the seat back. It's going to tilt back into place and lock. One of the other new features in the 2017 GMC Acadia is a rear seat reminder. Um, and what that's going to do is it's actually any time that you are in the vehicle and you open the rear doors, whether the vehicle is shut off and you're getting ready to leave, um, or you're in the vehicle and it's running and you open one of the rear doors. Anytime you shut the vehicle off, a reminder is gonna come up on the dashboard to let you know to check the rear seat. 
Uh, so that's a nice new safety feature that they put into it. Um, another new feature that they added to the 2017 that was not available previously on the Acadia is available heated outboard seats. Um, so again, a lot of people I know complained about not even having heated seats back here as an availability. So now it is an available option. Um, and you know you can you can go that route, which makes it a little bit more comfortable. The seats have been redesigned. Uh, they're a little bit more padded, a little bit more cushioned. Uh, I think they're altogether more comfortable seat than the older Acadia. Um, and you still have the option of sliding the seat. So actually, the 2016, you had the handle on the right side or the left side of the seat to slide back and forth. It's actually now in the front of the seat. So the seat slides back and forth and you actually have more movement than you did in the 2016. For more information on the all new 2017 GMC Acadia, check out our other videos at smailgmc.com.